Y'all make sure y'all tune in for my live stream, right? I'm going to I'm going to do my live stream today. Chofiz, niggas is getting getting shot. A professional. It's lawsuits going on. I got some I got some good y'all so y'all pay attention. That's why that's why no jumper is going the way it's going now because of the niggas is saying. Let me tell y'all, y'all gotta pray for a couple people, cuz. Let me tell y'all who to pray for, cuz. Pray for no jumper. Poor thing. Them niggas, them niggas is not getting no chili over there. No chili. So, me being smart enough, I was like, okay, that's a good platform. Real quick, I could use. Boom. Talk to Adam. He like, I really don't pay niggas here. I give niggas like a couple hundred dollars a show, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. I know what I'm gonna do. Being, uh, you know, being me, I'm three steps ahead. I'm like, I'm gonna get my own show, which I did. And then I ran up bands with my show. You feel me? <laughs> I charge at least, nigga, $2,500 to five uh, to 5000 a show for my uh, guests who come on in. Like that, nigga. None of them, nobody else up there doing that. Not saying niggas is rough, but I don't know what uh, certain niggas' pockets is. But niggas ain't getting paid. But I was like, uh, you know me, I'm from the east side. I see opportunity, like, uh, it's real quick. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it was a good platform to keep my One more thing. If you or someone you know has been charged $5,000 to appear on DW Flames podcast, then you may be eligible for financial compensation. Please contact me, Adam Grand Mason, lawyer at large, and I will assist you in getting that money back. Uh, yo, somebody just pointed this out to me. Peep game. Look at it. They're doing like, you know, 60, 70, 100, 9K. Ooh. Oh, I got something on my teeth. Oh, I should redo this. Oh, DW, say it ain't true. Bro, he asked me for 10K and told me I have to get put on Long Beach and there's a possibility they'll sacrifice me. I was like, I'm good, bro. I'll just wait for him to bring me back. So I give you a podcast, and not only are you charging people $5,000 to promote their hair extension services, but you're also trying to find shooters. DW, I expected more of you. What's going on? Is this what GBN has come to? I don't want to get banned, so I'm not going to say GBN. That'll have to do for now. Whoa, DW, come on. This is, this is some messy stuff. This is mess. You got to worry about paying Dijon about letting him get shot at no jumper by a fake security guard, and you don't want to pay it. You don't want to pay a black man that much money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and as I was scrolling down my timeline on Instagram, the algorithm for chaos led me in the right direction. I see DW Flame post up, hey, this is what was going down, ain't no jumper and everything like that, and I'm going to give y'all some more inside information, even spoke about that shooting that's kind of been in the conversation of things that went on behind the scenes up there. As Adam just canceled a lot of the shows and announced that they're going to be downsizing and certain employees will no longer be on the platform. DW Flay being one of those guys. Now, with all this going on, Adam 22, Mr. Don't Have a Clue at times when he speaks on things. Also, the nigga needer, Adam 22, responded to it right there because he said he was charging people and things of that nature to come on there. Adam came in trolling, joking about it. And I'm going to tell you like this, it's layers to everything in these conversations. True, somebody give you a platform, they give you opportunity, you don't want to do no shady business, you don't want to snake, you don't want to do nothing dirty, you don't want to not be all the way on point with it. But, hey, DW Flame say I'm not getting that much money. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and get my own finesse under the table. People do this in the game. A middleman move, a finesse move, whatever you want to call it, that be a part of the game at times. I don't know if DW Flame is doing this just to bring more tension and say, I'm going to capitalize on the moment. I am an entertainer to a certain extent. Why not? Adam is a troll himself. He be talking a bunch of nonsense himself. Let me go ahead and keep the show rolling. 
Or is he like really like, hey, nigga, da 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 da? I was charging niggas five thousand. Me personally, unless you just somebody who got a budget to pay that type of money, and you said, hey, I already got my stuff rolling. I want to use every platform to get out there. But I wouldn't pay that much. But I would pay five thousand dollars to be on no jumper. But hey, if a nigga like it, I love it. Do you want two thing? I can understand why if this is your business, you would feel a way about it though. No matter who you are, because it's like a nigga really been kind of using your brand in the way that you didn't want it to be and things of that nature. But no, not telling nigga, I, I don't want to sugarcoat nothing to be fake. It ain't a lot of money in doing live stream shows either. Just keeping it all the way a thousand. So that money to go around just really ain't that. But also in Adam 22 case, this shooting, I don't know what's what with that. He's going to have to really address that as well because that's been something that's been circulating. I really don't dive into it because I don't know the facts and I do not want to be throwing nothing on nobody or nothing in that nature but let's keep it all the way a thousand I hear Adam post up that he tried to charge somebody 10k oh that's making the GB and or whatever you was talking about right there let's keep this all the way a thousand Adam not saying that DW Flame is that person or he's that type of guy but this is what you want to associate yourself with nigga neither you want to be around these type of niggas. This is what gangbanging is, nigga, to a certain extent. This is what nigga street stuff is. This is what politics is. This is how crips and bloods and gangsters get down, nigga. Like, what are you not understanding? This is you that's aloof. That's why I say Adam 22 don't got a clue. You want to associate yourself with gangsters, niggas, niggas from real neighborhoods, real steppers, real shooters, real hitters. This is what they do, nigga. They crip at work. Y'all ain't never saw that documentary. So that you'll better understand what is happening here, we'll introduce you first to a group of crips, gangbangers from the Linwood section of Los Angeles, a war zone filled with posturing little soldiers. It's easy to crip to me. How important is the money? Is it not important? You'd be a crip whether there was a the money or not. Uh, yeah, Somebody came up to you tomorrow, grabbed you and said, I got a job, a good job, good pay for you. Did that make a difference? Come on, let's go now. He ain't gonna stop me from cripping. <laughs> but you'd You're take the job crip. too, wouldn't you? Huh? You'd take the job too? I'm a crip at work. That nigga was cripping at work. Nigga, this how some of them get down. Not all of them. Did some of them say, I gotta get this little bread right now? I got some responsibility to take care of, whatever, whatever. He using me, I'ma use him. That's how the game go when it come to this. But you want to put yourself in this light. And that just is what it is. So don't look down on the stuff now because you wanna get, you go do these interviews, you into the shootouts, you into the beef, you into the drama, you wanna capitalize on it. This is what's gonna come with it because you ain't doing it for no real message. You ain't out here really trying to push the positive side and tell niggas, hey, we need to get away from this. Let's try to build different structures or nothing. Nigga, you trying to get them clicks and them views. Then also, I see you, once again, you're going at T-Rail and them again, pointing out some views they did on the podcast. Look at the numbers, Adam. Who gives a, first of all, you just said you wasn't going to be focusing on views and things like that when you ended all these shows and now you're talking about views again. That's why you are a nigga neater because you're telling brothers, people with black skin that you need from the lifestyle that you need to keep your platform rolling, how they need to be moving and you're trying to talk about their value. But then at the same time, you're sending a mixed message because you said, well, we're not focused on views anymore. And then that interview just dropped compared to those other numbers, which who cares if the conversation is good, the conversation is good. I thought you was focused on quality over quantity, Adam, is you gonna focus on the views or the numbers. And how do you keep trying to downplay them when you just said you was trying to recreate what you had when they was there and everything like that, which they brought that there. You couldn't do it again. So obviously they have some type of value in this game. So you steady trying to downplay niggas like you tried to downplay Joe Budden, tried to downplay Say Cheese with these tweets and stuff like that. Like your numbers just meant anything when really, nigga, you was just putting out more videos than niggas is why you did it. That's the nigga neater mentality I keep talking about. Multiple things can be correct at one time. Certain people go look at it like, hey, DW Flame, bro, you kind of move in a different way, which I would say. Nigga, if you pull in the fast move, you doing your little hustle and finesse, I'll keep that under wraps, nigga, because, hey, don't put everybody in your business how you run your play, nigga. Just get your money, keep running it up. Ain't nothing to expose to tell her about that. Now, with that shooting conversation, I don't want to put nothing false out. We'll see how that go. Tell me what y'all think.
We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your peace.